Daniel. He didn't say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here to talk about why open source. So we've done all these great videos around identity. And authorization. Authentication. Federation. Self-service. Workflow. Directory services and many, Gateways. many more. Lots of stories. Now we're going to talk to you about open source because in the world of identity forever, there have been lots of proprietary vendors. But until only recently, the last couple of years, there has been the advent of open source, which is a different way of doing identity. So when we talk about open source, first off, in terms of what open source is, it's literally when we give you the software, we also give you the source code. It's open source. So you have access to the source code and can kind of see the blueprint of what we've built. Right. So just to be clear, software executables are the things you run. Open source is a human readable way of seeing what that software, software executable is comprised of. Anything to add there? Nope, that works just okay. fine. Okay. So oftentimes when we talk about the benefits of open source, it's, there's a lot of kind of cool things. First and foremost, it's transparent because you actually get access to the source code, you can see how we built the software. You can see what's in there. Um, you can take a look at it and see how it's been designed. With proprietary software, you're in the dark. You have no idea what's behind the, the curtain. You have no idea what they've put in there and, and how it, it, it runs, and you can't see the source code. That's, that's not terribly transparent. And it helps, it helps a lot knowing exactly what's going on in your identity system, right? If there are problems, mm -hmm. you can see where the problems are. And you're not in the dark as to weird things that may or may not be happening behind your back. That's right. The other piece around open source is agility, as you can tell from this. So that's a ghost. This is a little man running. Agility. So the agility piece is the ability to kind of move very quickly in terms of how we develop product, to actually have a lot of um, participation from the community in terms of providing feedback around what we're building so we can pivot and turn as we hear more and more information. Oftentimes with proprietary software, you have like a two week beta, you can kind of get some input in at the very last minute. If you're lucky, you maybe get some input in. If you're not, they're trying to get out the door so it happens quickly. But with agility, um, we're developing quickly, but from concept to um, putting it out into the, uh, the market, you can actually see the whole thing and, and provide input that whole time. Absolutely, and from a, from a deployment perspective, right, it gives the, the integrator an opportunity to see exactly what's happening, and if they need to extend it in directions, they can see exactly what it is that they're extending and how it's meant to be extended. That's right. So the next one is supportability. Um, this is a huge piece to open source, the fact that you can actually collaborate, and if you want to, you could troubleshoot with support as issues come up. Um, you can actually work your own patches, if you want, or you can actually work with the support team to get patches. So it's very cool in terms of the, uh, the interaction between customer and vendor is very, very different under an open source model. And one of the things that goes along with that, and it <coughs> often comes up, if a customer has access to the source, what's to stop them from customizing it to an extent that we can no longer support them? And one of the things you have by, by being open source is that we are sharing what we are doing directly with the customer, which leads them to share what they are doing with us. Yep. And as a result, any customizations, we're both aware of them, and we can be able to plan for those as we move forward. Yep. And in, in our model, if you actually develop code that uh, potentially is custom for you at that, that point in time, it could be stuff that you contribute back to us, and we could potentially productize it, so you don't have to support that code long term. So you know, it has to align with the roadmap and where we're going and all kinds of things like that, but if there's demand for it, it could become something that's supported in the product. All of this kind of ties back to the collaborative nature of open source as an interaction between partners, customers, vendor, in terms of really building um, a great identity solution together through R&D. And then the other piece is tied to adoption. You can actually download and play with this stuff in an unencumbered kind of way. Um, you don't have to get a license in place. You don't have to kind of get through some brick wall the, the vendor puts up, all of it is available for download and playing with it and allows you to kind of let the software kind of, um, um, it allows you to engage with it rather than being sold to. Anything else to add no. there that, that kind of hits it? And we, we talked about the customization piece already. These are puzzle pieces if you can't tell. So again, like if, if, well put together. if you write an off module that has huge demand for access management, 
um, you could potentially contribute that back and it becomes part of product. So John, if you could kind of tilt the camera this way, in terms of the Fordrock model, um, the way we actually do our open source uh, um, offering is we follow what's called the Common Development and Distribution License, also known as Cuddle. Cuddle. And what it basically says is whomever you give the software to, you also give the so source code. And so it doesn't say that the software has to be under an open source license. In fact, our software is under a commercial license that says if you want to use this software in production, you need a subscription. But we also give you the source code for that. So community members can go and download our major releases of enterprise products. So in this case, this is an example, 11.0 or 12.0 of product we've made publicly available once per year. But all of the minor releases and maintenance releases, those are only available to paying customers. So the cool thing about this is if you're a paying customer, you get access to all releases of our products, all the source code, and you can actually maintain and manage your release. Community members, again, only get access to major releases. So you don't get the minor releases, maintenance releases, patches, updates, all those types of things um, that are, are critical for enterprise deployments. And so with that, that's the Fordrock model. There's lots of other open source models out there. But again, ours is to whomever we give the software, we, only, we also give the source code. Customers get access to all the software, all the source code. Community members just get access to one release per year. So with that, I thank you. Thank I you. Thank you. And uh <laughs>